Apple announced the M3 lineup. Uh, Geekbench results have leaked, and the Snapdragon X Elite looks pretty good. That's uh, that's our not here. surprising at this point. They've actually been doing a great job. The M series MacBooks have been crazy. So, like, that's cool. You know what else is really interesting, though, is the Snapdragon X Elite. So that's Qualcomm's ARM on Windows processor is within striking distance of the M3 MacBook Pro for single bench in Geekbench, or single core performance in Geekbench, and actually between an M3 Pro and an M3 Max. But it's slightly better in single core, isn't it? No, it's it's right there. It's like right on par. Uh, what am I doing wrong? What's that? Yeah. That 2979. Oh, I was looking at M3 Max yeah. MacBook Pro. Yeah, so it's right on par with the M3 for single threaded, and then it's right in between the Pro and the Max for multi threading. Am I excited about ARM on Windows? That's weird, right? Is that even possible, Luke? It's weird, right? I know. I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah. Um, in summary, you guys can watch our coverage of the event. <laughs> Well, what? I got games to play, Luke. I, I can't no, I sit like around it. here all day. <laughs> Honestly, the second you said that, I was like, I know why you said that. <laughs> exactly. Because this would be pretty long. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot to talk about here, and the news team did a great job of compiling all of this for us, and we were really appreciative of that. The point is, Arm on Windows, is it finally coming true after 12 long years or whenever the Surface RT launched? Are you going to be super sad? Am I going to be sad? Yeah. Do you think if they're going to be not replaceable day because chips? It's arm? Like, where are you going? Do you think with they're going to be replaceable chips? Oh no, they're not going to be. Well, yeah, but they already weren't in laptops. Yeah, but they're going to come to desktop. Yeah, AIOs first, but yes, you're right. Yeah, but then a lot of AIOs are already using laptop chips. Yeah, yeah, but they're coming. My whole point is about desktops. Because now you're going to get chips soldered to boards. Then RAM's coming next. Oh man, I'm about to get myself canceled again. I. Cancelled. Yeah. I don't even know what to be afraid of right now. I am less opposed to CPUs soldering oh. soldered to boards than I probably was in the because past. Because the whole dream of upgrading the processor and keeping the whole motherboard never happens. Is that why? I think <laughs> my experience with Threadripper kind of killed it. Everyone I know enjoys when they're when they're when they're people can be pissed <laughs> everyone i know when they're specking out a computer enjoys being like this is a new motherboard generation so it's gonna last like three more so i can upgrade the cpu and then the next time i talk to them which is the next uh, this sometimes does actually happen but then <laughs> the next time i talk to them when they're building a new computer they're replacing the motherboard anyways yes now with that said the secondary market is something that we can't lose track of here. It's really oh, yeah. important to be able to pull the CPUs out of like, you know, Lenovo think stations and, you know, uh, re repurpose them for cheap gaming boxes in China or whatever. We have a really cool video coming on a, a, a gaming PC we bought for like $300 on Taobao that is kind of awesome. That won't be possible anymore. And that is terrible. Also, motherboard failure rates are. I hazard to say high because honestly, they're not. It's just relative to a lot of other components in CPUs. a computer, especially CPUs. Yep. They're they're really high. Yep. I, I wouldn't say honestly, failure rate of anything in a PC these days is actually high. Um, I'm not trying to dog on motherboards in general, just like CPUs basically never die and motherboards die fairly often. Um, so you'll have you can you can get CPUs from like 15 years ago that are rock solid still. Um, and usually you just have to keep swapping out the motherboard um, every so often. 